Hi, this is Seema and today I will be bringing you a new lesson on marketing slangs and idioms. Well, what exactly is marketing? Uh, marketing is nothing but creating a demand or a desire for new products in the market. Well, marketing is something that you and I cannot escape from. I mean, how can you possibly hide from a huge billboard that screams at you to buy a particular product? How can you walk away from a huge hoarding that talks about a new product introduced in the market? Well, marketing is all of that and so much more. Here are a few words that we will uh, talk about when it comes to uh, activities and things related to marketing. The first one is launch. What is it to launch? So when I talk about the word launch in the marketing sense, I'm talking about an introduction of a new product in the market. For example, I can say that I have started a new company and I have launched a new product in the market. For example, a beauty cream. Moving on to the next um, jargon is line. Well, a line looks pretty much like this, but when I talk about line in the marketing sense, what do I mean? I, I'm, I'm talking about related products or maybe I'm talking about products in the same category uh, for example I may uh, I may uh, talk about beauty products so I may have your I may have the face cream the face wash the toner the serum you know the drill but related products meaning products of the same range so uh, my company may have a line of beauty products and therefore a line in the marketing sense refers to products of the same category. Uh, moving on to our next marketing jargon is cash cow. Well, what does a cow do? A cow gives milk. If I were to buy a cow, I can guarantee that I would milk that cow for at least five years. So the terminology cash cow refers to something that is very profitable because you have the word cash in your okay and cow something that can be milked or uh, you know a, a revenue which can be generated for all it's worth. So cash cow refers to um, an extremely um, profitable business or an extremely profitable merchandise. It could also be used to refer to that one particular product in your company which kind of earns the maximum revenue for you. So therefore we call it a cash cow because now you've got this product and you can milk it. You can, you can really uh, get as much as money from it as possible. So therefore, the terminology cash cow. So I could say that Apple Corporation, for example, um, the, their new product, the iPod, when it was new some years ago, it was a real cash cow for them because it generated the maximum revenue for that company. Moving on to marketing blitz. Well, we know what marketing pretty much is by now, but what is blitz? Blitz refers to something that is really fast really aggressive something that comes bang on so marketing blitz is nothing but an aggressive publicity campaign well I just talked about uh, you know the, these huge hoardings, these huge billboards screaming at you to buy their products, you know, or a model holding uh, a, a Versace bag, you know. You want to buy these products because of 
the marketing blitz which is nothing but an aggressive and excessive marketing campaign uh, created to uh, bring out the desire in you to buy a particular product so um, therefore let's relate this to the next terminology which is hype uh, hype again is uh, excessive publicity well uh, what exactly does hype mean well when you are excessively uh, you know creating a demand in the market uh, you might maybe uh, have some advertisements which have these really big superstars uh, you know just coming on top of a mountain and doing their various stunts all to make you and me buy that particular product well that is a lot of hype we all know that products don't really uh, function that way but hype is nothing but creating a an excessive demand because of the publicity involved in creating demand for that particular product uh, moving on to cutting edge well most companies uh, need to have cutting edge technology so the word cutting edge refers to technology uh, and it means that technology is very advanced so if I have products with cutting edge technology uh, I am trying to say that I have products which have extremely advanced technology and therefore it is um, you know it is like an advantage to my company um, Apple Corporation again it, it has so many new products in the market well five years ago could you even imagine having a phone that you could just scroll that you could just you know kind of just um, you know move the screen with your fingers it was unimaginable but today because companies like Apple Corporation have what we call as cutting-edge technology all of this is possible moving on to hook well if I say I am hooked what do I mean I am enthralled I am captivated it is nothing but enticing a customer so hook is enticement or keeping my customers hooked keeping them interested and that is what marketing is all about marketing is about creating a desire creating a want for a particular product and therefore when I say I need cutting-edge technology to keep my my customers hooked I'm talking about keeping my customers interested keeping them captivated all the time well let's look at another six um, of the marketing jargons uh, we will begin with skyrocket what exactly does it mean to skyrocket well if I say that for the month of March my sales have been skyrocketing I talk about something that is moving upwards and increasing very fast or increasing rapidly so skyrocketing in the marketing sense basically means anything which increases at a very fast fast pace or very rapidly moving on to demographics well a demographic uh, relates to a pattern or a type of customers so uh, I may talk about uh, demographics when I want to find a particular uh, place that I need to really create a demand for my products so uh, then I need to look at the demographics or the type of customers so in, for, for example if I want to sell cycles I may want to sell it in a place where uh, there are people who are you know um, between the age group of say maybe 7 to 21 years of age uh, if I am looking at you know um, selling beauty creams I may look at a youth a crowd that is you know uh, more on the younger side so I need to tap my my customers and create a demand accordingly by understanding the the demographics moving on to tie up what is a tie up a tie up is nothing but a mutually uh, beneficial promotion strategy so I'll just put that down So 
I could say that my company has a tie up with another company. Well, why do we have this tie up? Because uh, it is mutually beneficial for both of us. Uh, for example, I may, uh, you know, sell clothes, but I may have a tie up with a credit card company so that the people who spend uh, money using that particular credit card could get a discount on the clothes that I that I sell them. So that way the credit card company that I have a tie up with also earns money and so do I. So that is a tie up because it is mutually beneficial for both of us. Moving on to stuffers. Uh, stuffers are nothing but uh, printed advertisements inside envelopes. So a lot of times you go to these supermarkets and You've got these people giving out some, you know, envelopes with, uh, you know, some things inside them, uh, talking about new products. They're nothing but stuffers, okay? Moving on to rebate. Well, a very common technology, uh, a very common terminology, we talk about discounts. Okay, a lot of us, especially women, we love to run to the supermarket and, um, you know, get rebate, which is nothing but a discount on products uh, rebate could also talk about cashbacks uh, you know certain promotional offers which kind of uh, you know make you pay less than the normal price so that is what rebate is so it refers to discounts in particular moving on to elite elite is nothing but our most preferred customers our most frequently um, our most frequent customers so the most frequent or the most preferred customers you will always have a particular uh, amount of customers who spend uh, the most on your particular product so they are your elite customers because they may give you the maximum business compared to other customers. Uh, well, that's it from uh, our lesson on marketing, slangs and jargons. Uh, I will be back with some more lessons, uh, some more jargons. Until then, you, you take good care.